will fade in. Yeah. How's it going? It's good. Good? What's the deal? What's the deal with yeah. Q-tips? Um, <laughs> they're not Q's and they're not tips. Yeah. I'm solid. Solid? As a rock. Just put so, this on. You haven't done your about us section yet, mate. For, con- oh, even without contact, I've, you're like, do you I've, want to talk to me? No. No. I've about just, us? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, um, I haven't touched that whiteboard in a while. Um, yeah. I miss it. Really? You but the, the room's been literally been full of shit until about an hour before you got until here. Until the procrastination of... Yeah, that was, that was like, there's a chance he hasn't done it. Yeah. So we couldn't prep for a remote one again. No, no, no. Then no, I was no. like, no, no it, was, it was, to be fair, it was a thing of like, well, you need to do it. So this is as so good a reason do to do it as any. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah. Surrounded by less shit. It's, it's surrounded by less shit. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. You've got good. yogurt. Didn't you? Uh, I think it was a trifle. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I don't even know what a trifle is, mate. Is it custard? Yeah, it's like... It's like a custard cheesecake. Custard, sponge, although the sponge is called like lady fingers or something. It's like, they're, they're, they're like just... Fish fingers, but made of sponge. Sponge, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then just cream, I guess. Yeah, cream, bit of fruit, jelly. It's nice. A trifle's good, a good one. It's a bit light. Oh, no, not the ones I have. Well, like, jelly's light, isn't it? Jelly's... I eat raw jelly, that's pretty light. Then, like, custard's light. That's... that. We used to do that when I was in high school. How I big I are these think, fingers? Yeah, I don't think I've done it as an adult. Oh, yeah. But then I still eat Haribo as an adult, and that's kind of the same thing. That's custard. So, <laughs> that's a trifle. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Could be, could be. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's been a while since it's been in the room. Yeah. It's been a while since it's been in the room. Your moon looks different. Oh, that's a, uh, that's, that, that, even, <laughs> that's not even my biggest moon. Oh, I've got how many moons moon have you now, got? But I can't, if I angle it, it's like this far from our face. Right. Did so, you get multiple moons so that you were never eclipsed? Like, oh, you think you could block one of my moons? Well, I've got a backup moon. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three moons, mate. I've I'm got, fucking no, Saturn. To be fair, I, I forgot to put diffusion on that, so it's probably a bit. Diffusion? Harsh. Yeah. It's full on. Well, like that Third one's moon. got like a soft box on it. Soft it box? It just softens all the light. But the, Not that the, bad, that's, really. That's really harsh. I can do it real quick. Yeah, that's it. I don't care. I do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. Keep oh, keep talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well you know, it's, um, I mean, kids today, right? I mean, who knew that um, jam was going to be... Oh, jam's such an eddy. That's diffusion. That's just put a bed, sh- a pillowcase on it. It's too diffused. The light needs to come out. Diffusion. Now it just looks like, like the Ku Klux Klan. Well, that's why we close curtains. That's the softest you'll get in Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the softest piece in Steve's house is the KKK. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. Am I blue enough? You still look good. I, I, I still look good. I looked good before. It's uh, this new beard straightener I'm using. A little bit dark. It's a little bit dark. Yeah. Ah. Got all these moons everywhere. You got decorative monitors. I know. Is that a screen that actually does something? Potentially. Uh yeah, I'm just waiting for a cable. So Right. Vince cable. Hmm? Is he a basketball player? Vince cable. Vince cable. I thought, sounds like a politician. That could be. <laughs> <laughs> He's come by to get your telly's vote. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, he's been in the room for a while. You got a whiteboard that you haven't loved. No, well, yeah. Less books on I your haven't bookshelf. been in the room. I just took to, since we got the dog, I just took to working downstairs. Yeah, you used to have a, like a no laptop policy and then you got a laptop and then that yeah. policy quickly changed. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I still don't really like editing on it. I like to have a mouse and everything. Right. Um, I don't like using a trackpad, but it means I can Does your sit. mouse have a trackpad up here? What? Does your mouse have a trackpad up here? Does my mouse have a trackpad? No. No. Some mouses have trackpads. Oh, right. Do they? Yeah, it's an Apple thing. Oh. So you can like, yeah, you've got a trackpad on the top. I, I mean, left, it's... you got left and right, and then you've got your trackpad on the... It is a, it is a magic mouse. Oh. That's what they call it. Is that like the sequel to Magic Mike? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like the Rescuers meets Magic Mike. <laughs> oh, God. What were they rescuing? I can't remember. Probably another mouse They or did it something. twice, didn't they? Oh, was it like uh, their dad or... There was a grandfather kind of figure. Wasn't it a, a spin-off of Fifle? Maybe. Fifle yeah. goes west. Yeah. And they were like, well, we can't go that far yeah. west. No, we no, no, go no. more west. We'll go over here and... Uh, oh, you just got any saving. They had songs in it, didn't they? Yeah. 
It's one of those kind of Disney films. I reckon their songs are actually pretty good, and I've completely forgotten all of them. Uh, the softer side of Nick. Some Disney songs are all right. I don't know about the Rescuers one, to be fair. I can't... I, d I don't... I might have seen it once at my cousin's house when I was a kid. I have, like, very vague memories of it, but other than that, I've never... So but most Disney films I've... I've watched over and over again. See, we're different people, Steve. I've never seen Fievel. I've seen it on a bookshelf oh, no, at a friend's I've, house. I've not seen I've not seen Fievel either. Oh. I've seen Rescuers multiple times when I was a kid. It's one of those films I watched a lot. Uh, I've seen... Um, I've never seen Mulan. I've se <laughs> Have you not? Mulan's no. great. Eddie, is, Eddie Murphy's in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, Mulan's, <laughs> Mulan's great. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> All the dishonor. It's, it's better, yeah, it's like Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. Last week was weird, mate. Was it? Yeah, a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. Why? Oh yeah, like I, I'm like. I, uh, am I turning me down? Or am I turning you down? Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm turning you down. That's fine. You down. That's fine. Right. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. Last week was fucking weird, mate. But like, uh, it's all it's all cool. Yeah. But I think it's, it's something to revisit briefly because I think I now understand what you were talking about. Okay. And I, and I violently disagree. All right. So let's go. All right. Okay. No, you know what I mean. So so yeah. Last week, um, <laughs> just for your context, like we hadn't really spoken for a while. No, it's been. And then the time. first thing <laughs> that you say. Pretty much. Oh, right. It's like, yeah, I don't think this is really worth my while anymore. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. And not like a panic, but I was just trying to understand what yeah. you meant. So I was like trying to, that, so the, the whole podcast was pretty much me going, everything's fine. If you, if you, if yeah. you don't want to do this anymore, that's cool. <laughs> if you want to do it more, that's cool. If you want to do some of it, and like try to cover all the moments where it's cool. Yeah. And I was just like, and then it was like, uh, uh, yeah, just trying to understand, which has subsequently got me to a point in my life now where I'm just not going to try and understand people anymore. No, no, no. Well, that's what that that's that was the side of it that we covered for you last week. It's like I I don't care anymore. About what? As in about, oh, yeah, fucking yeah, dealing about with people. other people's yeah. emotions and everything. Yeah, yeah. But like as well, I think there's a point now where it's like, it's my instinctive reaction and it, 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 dad it's mode. To, yeah, it really, it really, I've been trying it because it sounds like I'm complimenting myself, but it, I think it's what really it does yeah. feel like is I'm just like, what's going, what's, what's going on, bud? Mm. You know, and yeah. like try and figure out what it is you think you're thinking because it felt like it wasn't a fully developed thought. Mm. And then it was like, let's try, let's work it out was, together. It was very stream of consciousness. Yeah, yeah. Like and it, it was like, so. I was like, let's try and figure out what it is you yeah. want. And I think, um, uh, uh, obviously there's going to be exceptions, but with most people now, I think instead of trying to understand what they're trying to understand, Mm. I've got to be like, you go figure whatever it is yeah, out, absolutely. and then and then we'll talk, and yeah. it'll be more beneficial. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, there's yeah, a, there's that a was another I was thing. Just it's just like figure stuff out. I wasn't, uh, I, I wasn't asking for help. Oh yeah, yeah. It was but it's just, my instinctive, yeah, mothering, <laughs> <laughs> parenting. You like mother. so, so you try to put together your own rocket bike. I'll help. What, yeah. what, what are you trying to do? And really, yeah. I should be like, you want to put all that dynamite on it? All yeah. right, we'll talk after. Yeah. Have fun. See how it goes. <laughs> Gotta let them leave the nest. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, no, it's true. But yeah, so um I think I understand what you're talking about now. Yeah. Have you had any have you had any further thoughts? I think I'm to be honest, I'm just in a very strange place mentally. Like I haven't really gone into it with with um with with anybody, but I'm I'm like so I think it starts this week. Yeah, I'm going back to uh I'm go I'm going back to part time work. Okay, because I lost uh, a couple of clients after the after all the the COVID lockdown stuff. Yeah, I um, got into a position where I was just like, I don't feel financially safe right now. Yeah, um, but I've kind of been wrestling with the whole thing of just I've, I've been like, is it a regression? Like, is it's and it's something that I've been having to kind of come to terms with and be like, um. <sighs> Does this look like you're 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 failing? Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. just, it's very much a step back. Which I don't believe it is. Yeah, personally. Yeah, because like, um, I've got I know people who've gone through similar things. They've been like, you know what? I'm just going to move back in with my parents for like three months. Yeah, save some money. That's and then the take thing. A step it's... forward, and you go like, it can overwhelmingly feel like you're you failed. You're retreating yeah. to go on, 
but it's like it's depending on the context of how you're doing it like yeah. you've you've accomplished you've started doing something there's been some speed bumps you can either double down and mm. like go further in debt as you try and fix it yeah. or you can stabilize and maintain it and then carry on yeah that's so. the plan and i i kind of had to accept that the way that i started out all of this stuff was never ideal because i it wasn't uh, it wasn't a calculated thing of like oh well, you're going to you, you're going to build up a load of savings and then you're going to quit and, mm. and and kind of uh, and just uh, give it a go and then if you win you win you lose you lose whatever but mm -hmm. um, I never I never had that like I it was after after I got made uh, redundant a couple of years ago like that was kind of a bit out of nowhere and yeah. then the decision to go self-employed was just well fuck it I'm never I'm this is yeah, it's yeah. now or never you don't want to be you don't want to look for another part-time job that you don't want to do yeah in you know long term yeah, yeah, like, yeah. now i'll just start doing what it is i want to do yeah and then see how it works out and then reevaluate at some point yeah and i have to kind of look at it as some kind of success for the time being because it's like well whatever whatever happens kind of going forwards i've sustained myself on purely my own business for a year you got like, a bookshelf now. I, and it's, a, it's, it's got a boxes. Good, it's a good bookshelf. Decorative monitor. Solid. Yeah. Life's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that whole thing pushed me into a position where I was just like, I don't want to be. I don't feel good or productive doing anything except work and building like a name for myself. So, mm. like the idea of doing, of of going back and doing the podcast of like doing an extracurricular thing at the time was just like there was there was nothing about it that that was mm. that was appealing to me because it just felt like no you should be working you should yeah. be you should like the youtube stuff is like i'm tr trying to do that to build an audience that you can then um that, that yeah, it sounds sounds gross but it's how it works Destroy, that you can then monetize take all their money yeah yeah, yeah yeah um duck their children yeah <laughs> all that all exactly. That fun stuff. Exactly. So anything that and anything that isn't building towards that for the time being, I feel, I, I feel bad doing it. Um, but it's very much kind of my own problem that I need to get over because you can't yeah. just not have fun anymore. <laughs> well, it was just it was. Um, I think the the. I think, again, I think I understood what you were saying at the time anyway, of like... Um, it was very different at the time. Like, I, I, it's really only the, the last sort of week that I've been yeah, kind yeah, of working yeah. through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think what it was like, um, uh, you want to do more creative stuff. You feel like you're more productive doing creative stuff on your other YouTube channel. Mm. Makes sense. Uh, but then there was like the... <laughs> you don't maybe the podcast should be not creative because if nick's creative then i might want to be creative and then i won't be as creative as i want to be so nick should stop being creative and i, I was like i don't i don't no. get that but fair enough no like, no no it's no. gonna be like just i'm gonna i'm sorry but i'll sleep i'll keep on doing creative do what stuff you want and you'll feel bad and i'll laugh no <laughs> no no it was uh it's, it's very much kind of like it's it was uh, it was the problem, but it wasn't the problem. Like it was, yeah, it was yeah. very much kind it of. It was the problem you thought in your head. Yeah, but when you think it through, it doesn't make any sense. No, no. Which happens with a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But take kind of time to reflect on it. It's just it's just been kind of like dealing with dealing with that stuff. Like the the, the going back to going back yeah, to, yeah. to work stuff. Um, it's just and it's just it put it put me in a really weird space for like the past month or so. Yeah. Um, but to keep on looking forward, yeah, yeah like yeah. It, like yeah. I say, a lot. It, it, it's a normal thing for a lot of people trying to think of it as a negative, but really, mm. it's just a part of the journey. At the end of the day, yeah, it's yeah. just yeah to continue on to see what's going on with it, and then yeah, need do. You've got some spare time to do some side work. Yeah, might as well get some money for that side work while yeah. carrying on with other stuff. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, and like, but in in the context of the podcast, I also think I did. I didn't realize how. Um, how much of a bummer it is to do shit over zoom all the time rather than in person like this just feels so much better i'm a very i smell great <laughs> right? I, think, I think that's largely what it is no yeah it's a completely different uh different feel over zoom and in person for yeah. sure. and i think there's a there's a thing that happened when we first started the podcast we kind of noticed that we in uh, the way that we communicate anyway is, is somewhat of a performance Mm. Like when when we're just chatting and stuff, it's yeah. somewhat performative. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, so like early on, we were kind of like we should 
we should talk about this on the podcast. And then slowly but surely it kind of became like, let's just talk when the cameras are rolling. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah. then that kind of warps the kind of friendship. And then it yeah. kind of gets like uh, what you were saying. And again, this isn't like, I'm just, just because something you said last week of like, the the good thing about the podcast is that us two as friends can chat. Mm. And it's like, we feel like we don't do that enough. And then we sit the six week break. It was like, oh, we haven't chatted for six weeks. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's, I think it's a negative thing that we've noticed that, yeah, the friendship is kind of entirely online. <laughs> Yeah. So it's yeah. like, we should do more stuff. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. And then maybe see what to do creatively podcast wise to do other stuff. Yeah. Or yeah, whatever creative stuff we want to do kind of stuff. Mm. So yeah, I think that was a, it was an interesting, but I noticed as I was editing it and watching it back, I was like, a lot of the time I'm just trying to understand. I'm just like, <laughs> what's, and I know that's a whole thing of stream of consciousness thing. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, I think uh, I have to be way more, um, I think it would it probably confused you more mm. me trying to understand what you were trying to say. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so I could have just gone like cool, have a think, figure it out. Yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> and we'll move on. You know what I mean? So do something like that. But yeah, apart from all that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you haven't touched why I mean you touch a whiteboard. Uh, cuz it's just been shit in the room for shit. The, uh, for those for a long time <laughs> for those who aren't uh, able to see he's got a a, a a mind map i think they call it now oh it's and, um what the fuck do you call tree? it tree it road was, map it was to it, yeah um, what do they call a uh, site map it's a site map site map so he's got like a, an oh for his for your website yeah right so a plan for your website and uh, about us he's got like nothing cuz he's dead inside <laughs> contact he just doesn't want to talk to anybody and he's got content basically let's do some content it's a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> it was just it it's was a just a, it was just a, a layout for the pages so I could figure out yeah f- figure out what I was doing as I was making it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's just it's just funny that it's there. I don't <laughs> that know why. It's, that it's uh, empty. Yeah, it's, and, and the fact that you have to stand up to write it. I think it also feels very like yeah. specific. Yeah, yeah. So it's like just jotting on a bit of paper. All right, yeah, yeah, cool. Be like, no, actually, actually, I'm gonna get my thinking cap on, <laughs> light my pipe. Yeah, mm. like artistically draw it. So yeah, good luck with the site map. The si- <laughs> you know, I don't need it anymore. The site's no, made. It's done. <laughs> it's useless now. Yeah. And colour it in. Yeah. Colour it in like a big dot to dot. <laughs> Why? Don't know. No. I've, I've been thinking about doing like an Olympics. Like our own personal Olympics. Okay. I've been thinking for, I've been watching a lot of Taskmaster. Going to swim the channel? Like, no, I'm not. Oh, okay. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be behind you with a harpoon. <laughs> uh, no, there's like, uh, yeah, I think a, a while ago, I thought it would be funny to do a, I forget, is it called Come Dine With Me? Yeah. Where it's like five people go around each other's houses. And criticise each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought I always thought it'd be funny just to make our own one of those with friends and be, make it genuine, <laughs> yeah. but also just make it funny. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing about trying to do something like that, I thought Olympics could, have, could be kind of funny. And this stupid kind of taskmastery kind of Olympics. Yeah. Like throw this javelin at that disabled parking space <laughs> and just hope nobody parks there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just see, see what happens. Some kind of, someone did the crystal maze. Just piss about with some uh, something like that. But yeah, Olympics could be fun. Stupid Olympics. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to you don't have to pay your athletes, which is great. No, they're they're paid with scars. Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. a space hopper into that, I don't know, cement mixer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go. I was still <laughs> I for some reason I was I was thinking of uh I was I was trying to think the other day, like the the hardest I've laughed in a while. And it was um there was there was the the one time that we've gone over, which was you at the party pop with the party popper. Oh um, yeah, so that's just fucking killed me. Um, For quick reference, yeah, that was I had a party. I think it was your birthday. It was a bit. Oh, it was my birthday. Was it your birthday? Yeah, yeah. And we we, we all went the to pub. the pub. Yeah, and it was like a group of like seven of us or something like that. And I just had a party popper, and I knew that I was just going to let off at some moment. Yeah, and then um, yeah, just the argue an, an argument got incredibly heated. Where there was just this incredible silence. Yeah. Uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it just caught you off guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it was. You set it off as the person that was trying to argue with you stormed off. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even remember that. Bit. Yeah. Hey. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm going home." <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't that. It was. Uh, there was. There was that. But there was. Um, an artist did an interpretation of all the Disney print Disney princesses as cement mixers. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a gallery of like cement mixers that look like Disney princesses. And it, it fucking, it just kills Spot me. Spot on. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, yeah. So it just reminded me of you talking about the cement mixer. In the, the old uh, space opera. Into- we can make them Disney cement mixers. Yeah. Or Disney characters. The most Disney character space hopping into a cement mixer. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can get Disney space hoppers anyway. No, but the person on it oh, right. needs to be the most Disney Princess. Okay, okay. Maybe they've got to do it while singing. Yeah, and that that woman from Aladdin. Yeah, she needs to maintain vision so that she can be shown the world. If she loses her vision, she's out. Yeah, like Snow White needs to keep her teeth for the apple. <laughs> they've, they've got to they've got to be proper proper class. Proper, yeah, proper the, the commentators are just like I've I don't I don't understand this sport, but let, let's let's just watch and. And so take I, it in. I can't lose my teeth, but you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like, this one's uh, asleep. Proper, <laughs> proper method actor. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like... Um, what the fuck was it? Oh, the uh, basketball. And and uh, the commentators are like, and it's uh, it's bring your own chicken night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the audience are there with like live chickens. Yeah. yeah. It had to be baseball bat day or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing bats at people. <laughs> Was that The Simpsons? I can't remember. But yeah, fun uh, times. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was trying yeah. to remember the episode you were on about. Yeah, it's they're on the baseball field and getting yeah. shit thrown at them. And I can't, was, it, was, was it sandwiches? No. No, it was something. Like, it was something hard. Yeah. Like bring a brick day or something. Yeah, like that. I think it was like bat day or something. But yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. But um, yeah, there was that. I've also, um, <laughs> I signed up to... A uh, it was a it was a personalised course to to help you get over your habit of procrastination. Have you started it? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. No, it's uh, they set they basically send you send you an email every day, and it's on day four now, and I've still haven't, <laughs> still haven't started. I did the I got the. They print. must be like, why doesn't our product works? But no one. Like, why don't they just <laughs> no start one it? Does it? <laughs> Yeah. No, but to, to be fair, like I was the plan was was for me to have it on a little bit of a delay because they send it out they send out the email that you need to use at like 6 a.m. on on the day, but it's 6 a.m. Pacific time. So the stuff that I'm meant to be like the exercises or whatever that I'm meant to be going through on that day wouldn't arrive until like two in the afternoon. Right. So I was like, well if I delay it for a couple of days then I'll, I'll I'll have it there to be. And I only signed up for this thing on Thursday, so I've got the printouts all done, ready to start tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully it goes well. <laughs> You've planned to not procrastinate the procrastination stuff. Yeah. You've done all the work, un- except the except stuff. Except the actual not thing procrastinating shit. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's planned. Steve progress. Yeah, I yeah. think like I need to stop procrastinating, so I'm gonna find a distraction to get me not procrastinating. Yeah, yeah. Could be, it works. It's, I, I, well, I, I am, de- I am going to start it. So I'll, um, let's, let's hold me to that. I'll report back next week as to right. how I'm finding it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Now I'm. What could you achieve in a week? No. Well, the thing again. that was interesting about it was that it breaks down procrastination as, as a habit in the same way that fucking smoking is. And it's like mm. there's, there's there's certain things that you have to do to get over a habit, and so it's kind of like, yeah, it's break, breaking that down. Yeah, yeah. I I see. I know that I've procrastinated stuff, but I think it's because of like deeper, more evil issues. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to think like if if ever I'm sorting something or doing something properly, then I tend to do it. Yeah. But in terms of like lofty plans that I have sitting down and dealing with it and doing it feels like more of a I'm making conscious decisions to stop as opposed to uh, laziness or anything like that that's it's a, more subconsciously tr- don't do this yeah I mean that's the thing it's that it's it's a problem that I've had for just forever well I think an example to look at objectively yeah I think is like um um if we think about like the uh I said last week about sometimes I feel like I'm dragging you to do creative Mm. stuff. Unfortunately, I think there's an aspect of, even though you want to do creative stuff, 
like me trying to get you to do creative stuff, there's a, it's a weird natural resistance. Yeah. Because it's like, you, the, the, the logic could be like, you know, I should just be, I've got loads of stuff I want to do on my own. Or I've got stuff that I want to do. Yeah. And then I also want to do this, but now that we're doing it or that you're not leading the charge of it, it feels like you're being distracted from doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's not, it's a, it's, and I, I can sympathize with that where it's like, uh, yeah, I did say I want to do this, but it's kind of like, uh, not exactly like this. I'd rather do it in my own way. Mm. And I'd planned it in my head differently. Yeah. And that we're doing this, there's a resistance to it. Yeah. And there's that, it's that weird kind of semi resistance to, uh, to change, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it, 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 it's, it, what I'm trying to say is it's a genuine mental problem that people have. Yeah. Of like, uh, yeah, even if it's what they want to do, there's a there's a resistance to doing what it is they want to do. Yeah. I mean, the, the, there are reason. little th- there are little things that I've kind of picked up on the way in order to sort of get around it. Like things like um if I've if I've got to do a job for somebody gen- generally unless I need to like invest in some kit or something like that, I w- I won't take a deposit because if the, the, the because the money is the reward I'm more likely to put the work off if I've already got the money. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, like I, I, you're very much a take the money and run kind of guy. Not, <laughs> not, um, not, not really, but if, like, not mentally, like that. Kind of, but it's yeah. like I, I, in order to kind of to to, to really drive me to get stuff done, right. I, I need to I need to have that kind of like reward system properly queued up. Um, and I'm just yeah, so I, I, I can't, like I, I, I can't take like handouts and stuff. Like it doesn't. It, it, because it it just it makes me lazy, mm. which is a problem if you if you're in if you get into trouble because it's just yeah. like well I sh- I should be asking for help mm. but really I should just be fixing my problems yeah and then as well like it is the uh, the work must be rewarding as well right is yeah it the, the absolutely stuff that you do? absolutely yeah so it's like is the uh, um. Yeah, so if you're paid fully up front, obviously you still do the work, etc. But you feel like you're less motivated to f- to finish it by a certain deadline or to finish it as soon as possible. Um, sorry, I've just gone completely blank there. What, what? That's good. So you said um, um, you're reluctant to take deposits, yeah, because you like the motivational factor of receiving the payment yes. at the end of the project. Yes. So if somebody paid you fully up front, mm. all the money at the beginning, and said, "I want this done in a month," and yeah. you were like, "I can do that within a month." What's the difference in, because if the work's fun, enjoyable and rewarding in terms of like, yeah, I'll get this done, I'll get this done by the state and it'll be good. Mm. Is it just like the, uh, the closing of the chapter, the metaphorical thing of like, here's the check that ends the work? Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's it's the need to kind of like put a full stop on everything. Have you told them to go fuck themselves at the end? Oh. That definitely feels like a full stop <laughs> here's your work go fuck yourself yeah thanks yeah. bye <laughs> yeah um yeah but i don't know little little things like that that i work that i've worked out over time about the way my kind of reward system works like don't pay steve and he'll work harder <laughs> don't <laughs> tell people that <laughs> kind of <laughs> yeah leave the money on the dresser after the evening's done yeah not at dinner <laughs> how it works fair enough yeah fair enough i am re- resisting the urge to go to news articles because this is where we would go to news articles i feel like. oh you can oh yeah i would all right but i'm tempted to explore this space there was some oh yeah more more i don't want to oh, on... talk about me some more oh no 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 this, it's over it's over <laughs> uh no the, oh, one more thing actually no there's uh, um one more thing about um i don't want to shit on the nhs sure but just like, I mean, I'm assuming this is all because of COVID. Right. All of my problems have been because of COVID. Like, they've been overwhelmed. Staff have probably left. Bad staff are probably getting away with working there for longer. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. But I know s- someone close to me broke their rib, Oof. called the doctor, spoke to a doctor, and the doctor said, sounds like you broke your rib. Mm. You should go for an x-ray on your rib. And the person said, okay, cool. Went to the doctors with a letter that said, broken rib, scan the rib. Mm. And the receptionist said, no. And it's like, what? The receptionist said, no. Okay, cool. That's odd. And then and then they were trying to explain to me, they're like, well, you know, um, they don't do chest x-rays. They don't exist. It's like, yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, but they do radiation. It's like, yeah, yeah. 
all x-rays do radiation and i can understand why they would try to deter people from getting x-rays randomly they do chest x-rays yeah what? X- x-rays are a thing yeah and it's like and it's like i understand that they want to limit the amount of radiation that people receive yeah but a doctor has said get your chest x-rayed here and get an appointment there and the receptionist just wouldn't have any of it said we don't do x-rays for chests uh, cuz the radiation you know and like there's a thing right i can understand maybe what's going on right because there's nothing you can do for a, ch- a broken rib no there's no, no. like sling there's nothing. or pill or anything like that it's yeah. just that that's fucked yeah um rest but surely like is it broken they don't know because they haven't looked at it mm. so like look at the fucking rib is it broken yes or no no yeah okay maybe it's something else we can keep diagnosing not it's probably a broken rib yeah let's just leave it there so like uh, because i imagine you'd want to have the the rib okay this is when it was broken and then yeah. four months later is it still painful yes well let's have an x-ray again and see if it's healing properly right mm. and it was just none of that and it's like well look one of you has to be wrong here which means that the nhs is confused in this situation right either the doctor is wrong because she's prescribed some kind of illegal voodoo procedure of getting an x-ray on your chest yeah or the person denying the person access for an x-ray ordered by a doctor is in the wrong and you just go again why t- uh, my instinct is to try and fix this we're like well who can we talk to i need to talk to the doctor that gave the thing right i'll deal with this do they need an x-ray yes or no yes mm. where can i get it here okay go t- and, and deal with it or you just go you're just fucked <laughs> Like, there's nothing you... these pe- Why keep on trying to fix this? And when I say w- try to fix this system, I mean the individual in question who's got a broken rib, why should they continue to deal with these people when they are obviously not able to deal with the situation right now? Yeah. So you go, well, you're going to have to try and figure out... Uh, the, the, the responsible reaction is figure out what to do next. Maybe you go to a different doctor's, a different mm. surgery, a different GP... A and E, uh, whatever, or you figure out, or you you know, you put money into private healthcare. You yeah. Just go like, you need to figure out a way to deal with that. And it's just another one of those situations where it's like, it's not just me being a prick. This yeah. is like lots of people are having situations where they're trying to rely on. In this, and again, I believe in the NHS, but the uh, in this case, the NHS kind of failing in different situations. And it's yeah. just like you can't. Uh, part of growing up is there's no longer a situation where you should trust in other people you should be able to look after yourself yeah and it's like obviously take other people's help and search for help from other people but at the end of the day you need to look after yourself. there's no one you should you should not be required to fall back on anybody and i think that's a thing about grown-ups yeah grown-ups are just meant to be like all the responsibility weighs on these shoulders yeah and there's nothing beyond it's the uh, the whole thing of like the the cavalry isn't coming like yeah and just like you, you are the last port of call. Yeah. Like your your role is to help others, and then if they need help, you, you know you're meant to help them. But the idea is, you make it so that you are the, yeah, you you don't have to rely on anybody else. Mm. But I kind of understand why it's like, yeah, I mean, people like muttering like this. People are just idiots. I mean, I said that I gave an example to you about how before the recording about the. Uh, yeah, I had bad experience with my bank yesterday where they just made lots of effort and I wasted an hour of my time preventing me from depositing money into my bank account. And they just mm. didn't want it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, but I want you to have it. So I can have it. <laughs> and I was, nah. So it was a whole big kerfuffle. And then, yeah, just like, I found myself muttering under, the, under my breath. Like, just fucking idiots. Yeah. And that's fine. But it's just, yeah, need to. More and more and more idiots every day. Yep. including myself but it's like it shouldn't be able to have to risk, deal with banks right so basically i've put together like a care package i'm, I'm basically building a big hot air balloon mm. keep all my money in that float over frankfurt something like that somewhere <laughs> neutral like switzerland yeah and just have it on a big rope just- when i need money <laughs> <laughs> big big pull pull it pull it in yeah pull i'll in pay you in swindon three days yeah my arms are a bit knackered yeah <laughs> Yeah. Go on uh, holiday on the money balloon. You could, you could, you could definitely make that, <laughs> make that part of the uh, part of the Olympics. Yeah, to... put all your money in this balloon. Yeah, well, like quickest the sh- wins. The strong, <laughs> the strong men right have away. to pull a truck. Yeah, 
Pull my bank. Yeah. <laughs> Pull my bank. Over. My floating sky bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. No, so, yeah. It's just, and, but yeah, it's another frustration about living in the world. Yeah. Why do you have to live in the world? <laughs> so many other people. Uh, I was trying to, th- I, I, um, I think particularly like during all the COVID stuff where it seemed like, and all the riots were kicking off and it's like, it seems like things are just very like balanced on like a knife edge. And at any point, <laughs> the whole of life could just collapse. I feel <laughs> like we're kind of, at, we're, we're kind of teetering at, on, on that point. And I was mm. like, well, if, if I had to like abandon ship tomorrow and go and live in the woods, I haven't got any kind of skill set for that. Like, the only hope is that you is that you join some kind of community, and between all of you, you may like need some you can, video production done. Yeah, that's just it. It's just like this is this is great for this world, but like beyond yeah. that, I haven't got anything. Is there a, is there a, is there ever like any kind of skill that you think about developing? I was thinking about bow hunting for a bit, and stuff like that. No, you'd want to eat stuff that you've caught with your bare hands, just like just oh, a yeah. rabbit apart. Like, not well, you're like a cow. I think you could chase a cow down. Did we? Yeah, but we had this discussion. They can kill like, you for sure. Yeah, but you can't kill them. It's not you can't choke out a cow. Oh yeah, but you'd like you'd have some kind of predator, like layout trap. Yeah, you know he's like well, whittling you've got sticks your dog. on logs. You could train your dog to help you to kill a cow. Yeah, gone fetch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she would try. Yeah, uh, yeah like I think uh, not that I thought. But, well, I guess I looked at um, uh, how to start a fire from nothing. Yeah, you can't. You need something. Um, you need you need like at least a stick. You need oh, like right. a flint. You can't just be yeah. Like, you can't just fire. Yeah. So like you have to try and figure that out. And because I've always thought um, like <laughs> my I get bored. But yeah, my brain was like, well, if you were gonna run off and live in the woods, you'd uh, probably be near a water source. Yeah. Right near a river. There's usually watered down rocks like flint mm. around rivers. Maybe knocking two bits of flint together. But then they say flint and steel. But that's like ideally, right? Maybe if you just hit two rocks together, fire will happen. <laughs> Could happen. Sure. Get an ice skate like Castaway. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't win more with that ice skate. I feel like an ice skate is a bit OP. You know what I mean? Overpowered. The, you if you're can... lost on a deserted island, you've got an ice skate. You can just skate off the island, right? <laughs> yeah. Just wait for it to get windy. <laughs> <laughs> Open your shirt. <laughs> glide away to Fiji or something. Yeah, that's that's how that's how weather and physics work. That's how that girl got attacked and broke her legs before the ice skating rink, wasn't it? Fiji came along. <laughs> <laughs> that was apparently a famous thing. I think maybe it was like a few generations before us. It was in What's the that? 80s, like some famous, I think American or Russian ice skater Yeah, before they went on to the Olympic ice skating league. Uh, like some people came out and broke her legs. <laughs> oh my God. What, like the Russians or something? Something like that, yeah. Oh. And like, uh, there's there's video of it online, and she's like, afterwards, she's like, why me? Just why? Uh, <laughs> and I can't remember why, but it was funny. <laughs> uh, I feel, I'm, I'm, I'm tr- people trying to figure out why I find stuff funny. And I think it's just the way that the story gets told. Yeah, like that woman who lost her child to a fireplace. Like that's tragic. I, oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's tragic, but it's just if you phrase it as as they did in the article, like tragically she lost her daughter to a fireplace. Yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> what the fireplace claimed custody. There's more I mean, information, right? Yeah, stuff. Like, did you hear about there was a bombing in Liverpool recently? Yeah, so outside like, the um, women's hospital or something. Yeah, outside women's hospital. It happened like a week before we were recording this or something. But the way the art, the way the article explained it. Which, and this is the BBC trying to be neutral, whatever you think of the BBC. And they said like, um, well, the suspect was picked up 10 minutes away from the women's hospital, brought to the entrance and subsequently exploded. (laughs) And you're like, hang on. Did he mean to? (laughs) Yeah. Did he sneeze? (laughs) Like, it's not like, like no no point did they mention an explosive device. No. Like, because if I was to write it seriously, I'd say set off an explosive device. Yeah. And killed themselves, and luckily no one else was injured. I read apparently that the driver got out and locked the guy in the car. Yeah, legend. But the, <laughs> absolute legend. <laughs> but then um, I think I've watched the video of it, and I don't think that quite happens. Maybe like afterwards. Yeah. Which is still good. You don't want an exploded person coming out of a car. No. So you still got out. And, uh, but yeah, lucky to be fine. But yeah, the way, just the way they've described it is the person exploded. It's not yeah. like, well, did they mean to? <laughs> Did they intend it later that day, or did was it just random? They uh, whoops, I exploded. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it's just the it's that little cartoon narrative that gets in your head, 
And it's just it's just funny to someone going for a doctor's appointment because they feel a bit ill. It's, and they explode on the way. <laughs> I knew I was sick. Yeah. Broken ribs. So, oh, just, oh, no, yeah. That, I was meant to do some prep uh, before. Um, I'll quickly look at it now. To, um, out of curiosity, and I don't believe you have, but maybe you have. Okay. Um, have you used the, our highlights channel at all? Used it? Yeah. Have I you said, logged into it? Oh, no. No. Um, you haven't deleted any comments? No. No. Something, um, something that has been happening, and I think this is... Uh, a good thing and i think it's a healthy thing but um on the clips channel we've got only a few um clips like i think like four or five and uh one of them that we got a lot of user interaction with is the grenville college abuse scandal um, yeah 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 right so this was a t i don't remember it very well but it was like a boarding school in canada yeah. And um, lots uh, in the 80s or something, and loads of cases have come out recently accusing them of abuse. Something about, like, you know, being um, abused, like physically uh, disciplined for wearing certain clothes, yeah. disagreement, smoking. I think there was a screaming room, but I think that might have been my invention. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we were, we were talking about it and laughing about it because it's quite funny to me that, like, all of these ridiculous, and it was over the top stuff that was happening. Mm. That the the parents of the students must have gone around a parents' day to look around the place and be like, "Why well, have you got a screaming room?" You know what I mean? <laughs> no, the, the screening, screening. Oh, room. Is, why yeah. is there screams all over? Why can I feel the terror? <laughs> you know, there was a and, and like talked to these teachers who were evil teachers. Yeah. Um, so we were making light of it and stuff like that. But yeah, we got a lot of people found it, and it hasn't got many views. It's got like I don't know two hundred views. Mm. So it's not it's probably not being suggested in people's feeds. No, like people are searching for Grenville. I yeah. used great SEO stuff for it, apparently, and um, yeah, people commenting on it. And um, I'll just give some examples. Um, what kind of men think? Hang on, I'll load up the full thing because it's not. Oh, I can't because I'll get into that. Um, what kind of men think it's okay to belittle child abuse? Do you think it's okay for a child to be forcibly confined, scrubbed with hardwire brushes until you bleed? You know, those kind of comments. Of I, had, like, I had no idea we were being abused online. <laughs> well, no, yeah, so all this stuff. But um, So the first thing I want to say is the majority of those that tend to be really long, like four or five paragraphs long, get deleted. Oh. And it's like... I don't think, I'm not deleting them. You're not yeah. deleting them. I'm assuming YouTube isn't deleting them. I'm assuming, and I think this is actually a good noble thing that we're doing, is like, I don't, well, would one, on social media, um, um, if somebody posts something that I disagree with and I want to respond to, sometimes I write it out and yeah. I'm going to respond to it. And then before I click send, you I think it. that's all I wanted was to articulate my response to myself. Yeah. So I delete it and I move on. So what could be happening with these people is they're posting the comment and then they're thinking about it and they're going, ah, yes, right, I get it. Context, podcast, small YouTube channel, whatever. I know how I feel. I can delete that comment. Yeah. Or they're trying to get a response from either us or other people because they're responding to each other's comments and they're not getting the response they want. Like mm. we're not saying... Uh, Stephen Crowder says or whatever you know what I mean yeah so it's like maybe they're not getting the things that they want but uh, yeah the majority of them get um, get uh, get get deleted I mean one uh, the couple that have survived are in support of us oh. which is weird so one person says I survived GCC which I believe is Grenfell College College Catholic Catholic College or Christian yeah. or they very much knew so they're saying like the teachers knew parents knew I well, I don't want to put words in their mouth right. but they said they very much knew and the other one you know goes on about like um... <laughs> all right I'll read I'll read out the comment uh, the article barely scratches the surface of what they put us through the light sessions for example were often accompanied by sleep deprivation and virtual isolation sometimes lasting days the underwear checks no not bathing suits were not really about modesty, but rather about humiliation and degradation. The place was run by a known mind control cult called the Community of Jesus, which still operates to this day in Cape Cod. <laughs> well, that's still to quite the fun. community of <laughs> Jesus. Take off your underwear. <laughs> we're going to humiliate you. <laughs> Again, with making fun of it because it's, it's, it's surreal and it's good fun. And they end it by saying, I know you're laughing about it. I get it. But seriously, that was place was horrific. It's quite a good, it's fair balanced. Enough. Yeah balanced argument um 
And then, yeah, I mean, multiple people have said that they went to the college and they're talking to each other in the comments. It's a good thing. Yeah. We're, we're, we're evoking good change. But yeah, um, um, I think I, I like the idea that... Putting together uh, a community of abuse victims. That's what I always <laughs> imagined our podcast would become. Just a big pile of abuse and trauma. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like, you know, maybe they saw that... Like, I still think our humour is still genuine. Yeah. Like, that. I, I do understand that there are some people who are like um use humor as a weapon mm. in some way to belittle somebody yeah and i don't think we do that at all like genuinely i don't think we do that and i, I think that if we can is- we can cause those ripples like people can feel like um we're talking about a subject and that can cause a side effect of getting people emotional but our i think we're honest and genuine about what we're what we're talking about i think the idea that normal people don't joke about this kind of stuff mm. um is bullshit oh yeah like I, th- I, th- I, I don't. I, I'm not to, um, I, d- I, not to kind of like belittle what we do because I think, I, th- I, th- I think our conversation generally is quite interesting. But mm. I don't think it's. I don't think our thoughts are like fully unique, and we're just like this. Yeah. Sh- uh, this, this, because I mean, th- there's plenty of comics in the world that say way more fucked up stuff than we do. Well, it's even if it's not like uh, unique, it's, it's that maybe people we're just expressing the way that we deal with stuff yeah with other stuff so it's yeah. like it's not like we're you know fluffy clouds of purity mm. and we're judging these people it's like no that we i've personally found humor to be the absolute number one tried and tested again and again way of dealing with shit and understanding stuff as well like, yeah for sure yeah like the, like um there's a thought I'm, I'm trying to put together at the moment um about people just get stuck in loops and it's a natural thing for humanity to get stuck in loops Mm. because you're like i went outside it was raining i got pneumonia now i'm sick i went outside it's raining i've got pneumonia now i'm sick i need to break this loop i went outside it was sunny it was fine and then like you you stay you stay in that routine yeah right i do this and practice and you get like okay this is safe I can do this and then move on to something else. And people get in the same way with arguments and stuff like that. The classic one that I've used many times on the podcast is I decided when I was like five that I didn't like eggs. So yeah. I was in a constant loop in my life of I don't eat eggs. I don't like eggs going mm. in this loop. Do you want some eggs? No. Why? I don't eat them. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> and then like it, it, it requires a lot of self focus just to look at yourself and challenge yourself because yeah. it's safe you you're 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 it's what you've been doing is safe because you're fine yeah why change it if it's not broken don't don't fix it but you go like no it's in order to evoke change you need to challenge yourself that's just it yeah I, like I, did you I, see I, sorry did you, what i don't know whether it's my favorite thing yet okay but something that i enjoyed this week was ben shapiro reacting to snl sketches no i didn't no it's like <laughs> it's it's sad for ben shapiro fans in my opinion <laughs> But it's like, it's like somebody who clearly, yeah, I think, I think they're back. Okay. Uh, the demon that we put in the shed. <laughs> now the, uh, the, uh, I think there's, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, Luke's, uh, Ben Shapiro. Yeah. It, it's, it's the equivalent of like, um, he really just didn't get the joke. And so oh, took right. the entire joke out of context okay. and then debated it. And right. it was like, Ben, just, you don't have to like the show. Yeah. Like he starts going into these, and uh, there's a load of people who take apart stuff online. And they're like, the audience isn't even laughing. It's like, it's a Saturday Night Live audience. They're like, they're a terrible audience. Like, they're yeah. a really weird gauge. I've never really found what they find funny, funny. I, so well, it's like, it's I don't weird... find Saturday Night Live funny yeah. on the whole. It's grown on me in bits because I found sketches that I like, I actually quite like. Yeah. I've been, then they've just been, I've just been, I've ran out of stuff to watch. So let's watch some SNL stuff. But um, so yeah, he starts attacking, debating the audience. He's doing like a debate. So the joke was like um, uh, this a woman comes out dressed as a clown on the news section of SNL and says, um, I had an abortion. And then does this whole bit, and and I think and I get one of the bad things Ben Shapiro does is only shows three seconds of a five minute clip, and then talks about it. Yeah, yeah. and he goes, and he's oh, you don't have to watch the rest. And it's yeah. like Ben, it's a joke at the beginning of the day. Who mm. cares? But this and this is where my point comes in is that everyone's just in a loop, and like Ben Shapiro is in a loop of talking about the left and the right. Yeah, the, the people on the left are going to do this. Yeah. And I, Ben Shapiro. Yeah. And, and, and so it just fed into, oh, so now it's come to a point, you know, where the left just want to watch a clown on TV saying, I wouldn't be a clown on TV if I had, hadn't had got an abortion. Well, are you really proud 
of being a clown on TV. Because <laughs> maybe you could be a mother. Maybe you could be, you know, the mother of a, a child. Yeah. And it's it's literally like that. And you go it's, like, I Ben, mean, it's very what are you doing? Stuff, I like you, Ben Shapiro. What are you doing? It's very much stuff that appeals to his base, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's but he, he has those little moments all the time. Like I think on the whole, what the stuff that he generally says about culture, I agree with. But then there are little bits where he's like breaking down the lyrics of rap songs and stuff. And it's like... It's a it's a song. Yeah, it's a, I I don't care. But again, it's I think it's I think it's that thing where you, you get your brain gets stuck in a loop, and I think it gets stuck in the loop for good reasons. In terms of once you figured something out, you're like, I'm, uh, this makes sense, mm. so you're gonna stick to it. But like, I don't have that brain for for I believe many different reasons, and it's not a better or worse thing. But my favorite thing in the whole world is being wrong. I love being wrong. Mm. So like, if I'm watching a film. Um, um, this may be a silly question. Have you, have you watched any of the new Dexter? No, no. no. Never mind then. Oh. It's good. Yeah. And Worth I was it. going into it being like, I don't know. I if didn't this finish is the old Dexter. Good. I know what happened. We're very different people. I know. Yeah, I, I loved Dexter. Dexter was one of the first shows that really got me into television, I think. Yeah. One I of the think I, f- I fell out with it on the, the series with the. Not a televangelist, but the the motivational speaker guy. Been so long. I'm going to Colin rewatch Hanks. it again soon. Uh, that's that series. The, the vicar. Yeah. Was he a vicar? I th- yeah, there maybe was a, it was a pre- yeah. There was a, th- no. The, I think maybe there was an episode with a motivational speaker or something like that. But the Colin Hanks season, I didn't oh, finish that. Sorry. Yeah, I've just realised. Yeah, I don't think it was Colin Hanks, but I know who you mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, after season four of Dexter, like it finished on such an amazing climax. That was the Trinity Killer. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing climax. And I remember being like, oh my God, what's it? Where can you go from here? Yeah. And it didn't go in the direction as many people wanted it to, but I think it went in the right direction and it had to cover more of Dexter. But anyway, Dexter's great. Watch Dexter. But the new series, um, I was like very temptuous on. I was like, they're just kind of bringing it back and they're bringing it back in the way that they are. And there's all these plot lines. I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be what I love. Yeah. And then throughout the whole first episode, it intentionally tries to give you the impression that it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> like there's like, oh my God, why doesn't this happen anymore? Why doesn't this happen anymore? What the fuck is this music? Yeah. You know, it's like all this kind of stuff. And it's all, it's very good. It's very yeah. good. It's still, I've only watched two, it's only two episodes out. One of them's coming out this evening as we're recording the third episode. But it's like, it's really good. And um, I, so I love being wrong about stuff is my point. Is like, mm. I was like, I love Dexter. I think this is going to be bad. Oh my God, they've done it. It's good. I love this. I love being wrong. I love finding out new stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think most people are the opposite. Most people want to be smart, which means they want to be doing the right thing and being in the right. And but to most challenge people that want gets weird. other people to say, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Or like, or like a long speech that they'll give on, you know, YouTube or something like that. It will be yeah. like, and like, I, I, I love learning stuff, and I like having like kind of combative conversation because I think that's just a good mm. way to learn things. Yeah. Like, it's that whole thing of like, you, you cannot, if if you do not fully understand your opponent's position, then you are not informed about your own opinion. Like, yeah, y- you you have to be able to kind of like defend it, and if you get to a point where you can't, and you go. Ah, you've yeah. just learned something. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and uh, and just and yeah, thrashing it out to f- get to that point. Yeah, it's healthy. Most people do that online, and online it's it's a horrible way to do it. And they do it online to either delete it later. Yeah, which again could be very healthy because they just want to let it out. Yeah, it's like me screaming at stuff. You know, it's one of those. Ah! It's like someone wants to do that, and they do that by typing on something, and yeah. they go, "Ah, oh, it's fine." It's like, cool. That's good. That's yeah. healthy. We're the good people to do that too, because I'm not going to be offended by anything that you write. And I'm not going to read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, just yeah, go for it. Uh, but yeah, I think, uh, so yeah, most people want to either be in the right, be the person in the know. Yeah. They want to be that. It's a status thing. Yeah. And I, and I don't have any of that. I, I, I yeah. genuinely don't. I, I'm, I'm more interested in the conversation than the topic. I've definitely, I've definitely got that side to myself that I've had to work really hard to suppress. Right. Like, you know, like when, when particularly when we were younger and I, I would, um, I, I would be very kind of like defensive about right. people showing me new things. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, I knew about that. Yeah, I told I you a link to something. Like, oh, I've already seen this. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. And it, why don't you watch it now and we can talk about it? And it's, that's the thing. And it took a long time for me to be like, that's a that's an incredibly unattractive quality to have. 
Like nobody well, cares that you know something, but people love showing people things. So why don't you just accept that you don't fucking know everything? Yeah. Well, it's also and, it's it's it, it it leads to bad friends and bad yeah. uh, situations because if you want to, ha- if you're the type of person who goes, let's not have this conversation. I've already seen it. Yeah. Because that's the kind of vibe that it would give off. Yeah. Then you're only going to be around people who don't talk to you. As in. I'll say something and then you'll say something and then mm. I'll say something and then you'll say something. Yeah. It won't be a talk about a topic. It's like, I've already talked about this. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, uh, but yeah, I think a lot of people get in that, um, that state of mind where they just want to be um, adamant about something and they don't really want to challenge it. And if they do challenge it, they feel like it's a, a threat of some kind. Yeah. And I, ju- I, ju- I just enjoy the challenging of a conversation. Whether it would be about whatever it is. Cause I, and again, because I'd love to be wrong about something. Mm. So like, oh, you know, um, uh, oh, I don't like, let's say I didn't like uh, uh, porridge. And someone said, oh, you know, most people don't like porridge because they don't like jam. Have you been putting jam in it? I thought you meant the TV show. No, it could be. Most <laughs> people like the remake. Is there a remake of porridge? I don't know. Maybe. I think there was. The, the, well, there, was, it, there was a remake of um, that one with David Jason. And yeah, it was Open the All Hours. Yeah. That's yeah, my yeah. mate. Well, not my mate. Someone I used to work with. Oh, right. What, that's in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Sorry. Random. Random, uh, random waiter I used to work with is, is, is uh, one of the main characters of that show. Oh. oh. I knew he was an actor. That's like, cool. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah um, Some of them have got to make it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think there was a remake of Porridge, but I think it was one of those, the BBC are just bringing out a new show mm. and not really publicising it. It's just on. Um, but yeah, so say it was the food porridge. I'd, I'd like to be able to be like, you know, I never really, never really liked porridge. And someone says, well, most porridge has jam in it and most people don't like jam. Have you tried it without jam? And I'd be like, no, I haven't tried it without jam. Mm. I'll try it without jam. I like this now. Oh, I've, Whatever I, it is. I, Christ, I don't know if I've ever put jam in it. Put honey in it. Put carrots in it. Yeah. That's, carrots and celery. That's weird. Yeah. I put everything in porridge at one point. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> put lasagna in it. <laughs> it's, like, it's just more nutritious breakfast, right? <laughs> but um, but yeah, so I, and if you think about that in terms of conversation, whatever you're talking about, I don't care what it is that you, what facts there are or whatever. But like, let's talk. Why do you think? I'm more interested about why you think you, what you think about it rather than what it, it is. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a, bit more, a bit more. So I think, uh, I can't remember how we got into this. Yeah, something about uh, yeah people getting into loops, and my yeah my favorite thing is to break out of those loops because I don't I don't want to when I fe- when I realized hang on I decided I didn't like eggs when I was five I'm 25 now yeah. 20 years has gone by maybe I'll eat an egg and yeah, yeah you, you analyze it and you go yes of course there's loads of different types of egg loads of different ways to cook eggs loads of different ways to season eggs loads of different like um, if you're in a certain mood things taste differently. Mm. If you're on a plane, things taste differently. Maybe I like plain eggs. Yeah. You know, you enjoy a nice egg in a plane. Or go, or go it's never going to taste different on a plane. And they Apparently, say they put, too, they put more salt in everything. There was something you, about it, the air pressure it affects your taste, your, buds taste buds or something. Buds, your, your taste or something. Yeah, just shut up and be a, be in a plane. Just just eat, eat your eggs. Yeah, eat eggs. Go to Dunkirk. <laughs> or wherever it is you're going on holiday. <laughs> I want to go Dunkirk. Get shot down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Run out of petrol at Tom Hardy. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, that was a good film, man. I watched... Uh, yeah. I watched... Is it, wait, is Tom Hardy in that? Yeah. Dunkirk? Yeah. Oh, wait. No. No. No, you're, I haven't seen Dunkirk. You're thinking of Tom and Jerry. And, <laughs> no, I, I was thinking of 1917. Oh, all right. Yeah. Also awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Very good film. And, and I, didn't another one of those. I didn't see Dunkirk. No, uh, the 1970 was like, uh, it was, I, I don't know whether it was more impressive just by how it was shot. Yeah. Like um, Children of Men. Yeah. Like Children of Men is great, but a large part of the enjoyment is, oh, this the way that, they film this is that cool. That one shot at the start. Like, it's like yeah, 10 there's loads, and there's a load of them. And it's yeah. like the way that they've done it is part of the, imp- the impressiveness. It adds yeah. another layer to it. So I don't know if it was shot differently, if it would be as good. But yeah. um, no, it's yeah, still a, still good. And then Benedict Cumberbatch is in it briefly. Yeah, and it's like just yeah. give him a brief bit because most think, of it is just running, run to fuck. Yeah, I, th- I, 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 I think we've talked about this before, but I got distracted remember. by it because I was like watching it from a filmmaking oh, maybe, yeah. perspective of just being like, "There's cuts in this. Where are the cuts? Yeah, let me, let me find the cuts." And like, yeah, there's one. Yeah, and, and being like, later, "This is how like, they got around it." Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Is good. This yeah. Is how so I think I need this. to kind of watch it again to properly be. Did he really get it. hit by that plane? No, it's probably CGI. That was amazing. Like yeah, just yeah. seeing it coming from a distance. Like, yeah. 
But yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, people get stuck in loops. I think I and, and that and you know the world is a dead place. You shouldn't rely on anybody. But also, yeah, people get stuck in loops. And I just find it funny because I think um, that's the average person. People get stuck in loops. People. Mm. And that's why advertising works. Darily. Well, that's a weird advert. Didn't work. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's people going oh, the fucking to the left or the right. The Darily. Darily. Maybe I should get some Darily. Yeah. You know, it's like it works on people, and it's the job of the most people. That was another fact I want to talk about. That I forgot last week. Yeah. How many hat? Because we were talking about insulate Britain. Yeah, yes. Right, and and their thing is they want to insulate all the houses in the world. How many houses do you think there are in the UK? Oh, because uh, I was surprised. Let's say there's sixty million people. Yeah, I was going to say but at least maybe half that thirty million. But that's cr- I think there's like twenty seven. There's the numbers disputed between twenty and twenty nine. I think. Okay, but let's say there's 30. that's a big margin of error. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give that or house, take 10 million. That house, it's just a balcony. What does that mean? <laughs> Move on. Uh, but like the fact that there's half the number of houses for people mm. is very strange to me. But if you analyse it, the government wants people to get married. Yeah. So they want people to be in shared accommodation. So they want two they people They don't want a nation of people house. that live alone. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why doesn't the government want me? You know what I mean? Like, But like, uh, it seems strange that there's not a house for everybody. Well, yeah. I get it because the and, and the reason the government and it, it's a whole this sounds conspiratorial but the re, and it makes sense the, the reason the government wants to, people to get married is because then they've got to provide for that family so they have to work and they can't quit work can they yeah. and if no. they if they work they pay income tax mm. and that's good and then they've got to get well, to work the, so they've got to get a, like some weather balloon bank system when you when you boil it right down the only value a nation has really is to do with the, the is to do with the amount of people that are there. Yeah. I mean, like, you do have some massively overpopulated, very poor places that are kind of like underdeveloped nations. Mm. But for the most part in the West, it's like, if the more people you have, the more money you have. Because you but have get more, more ability to, to generate revenue. Yeah, but then it's just get them more houses. And if more single people owned more homes, there'd be more fucking. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people like, oh, my housemate is in, so we can't fuck. But I also think that it's a. I also think there's a demand thing. Like if d- developers can come in and and invest a shitload in making houses, and it's like they are. But if they all do it all at once, then the value of everyone's house drops. Well, then most people who live together combine salaries to pay more for, for a bigger house. Yeah. Whereas a single person is, on average, earning half of that amount, so can only pay for half of that amount. Yeah. But even then, get that many flats. I, mean, I don't know whether flats were included in the housing. I'm assuming it would be. I mean, it, uh, yeah. It makes, and it kind of does make sense that there's half amount of houses for people. Well, you've got it to think, like, on the strange. census, it's like, yeah, there's 60 million people, but let's say tw- 30% of those are kids. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. But then uh, that still doesn't feel like it allows for... your. You, let's say you live in, in your own your parents' home until you're 20, just to be round, yeah. and say you live to 100. So there should be, a, you know, there should be a, a slight disparity of, like, the first 20% of your life. Yeah. You don't need a house. But that would mean more than half of the, the houses in the world, the country, right? Yeah. You'd be like, there must be some people who want to have their own house. But yeah, it, it seems it seemed strange. But yeah, so these loops. <laughs> <laughs> so these loops that people get into are perfectly healthy, perfectly normal, and designed to help them stay alive. But it also means that they get stuck in their own bubbles, in their own heads. Because mm. I started going on a theory about, don't you hate married people? I hate married people. <laughs> No, but I can see how, like, um, uh, as you get uh, as you start to settle down more, you start to be more communal. Would you say? Yeah. And that communal is usually in your within your neighbourhood. Mm. So, like, let's say you come up with a thought. You think who's a celebrity? Is Katie Knowles a celebrity? That's just a name. I don't know who that. Katie is. Knowles, L- Lionel Richie. Lionel, who, who's he's alive. He's the singer. Who's the dancer? Richard Lionel. Lionel Blair. Lionel Blair. Okay. Is he alive? Probably. Probably. He's probably still dancing somewhere. So let's say you come up with a theory about Lionel Blair, right? So <laughs> I've day, got a theory. <laughs> about the Blairmeister. You think, you think Lionel Blair is um, a lizard, right? <laughs> you've just realised. You saw. Let me you just saw clear him. off the whiteboard because I need to work <laughs> need this to, one out. <laughs> you figure this out, plan it out, make a website. So you've got. You, you come up with a theory one day that Lionel Blair is a lizard, and um, you, you wake you up in the middle of the night. You're like, 
he's a lizard, right? Yeah. Um, your wife's like, <laughs> and you can't get this idea out of your head. Every yeah. day you're like, <laughs> just get obsessed. It's just, I mean, how did this come to me? Did he send, is he trying to tell me he's yeah. a lizard? Yeah. And so you keep on talking about it, but you're in this bubble and you're working, you're busy and stuff like that. So any person who hears this is your poor wife. Yeah. And you're, you're like eating dinner, she's cooking, I'm like, please don't bring up the lizard. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you go to, you're like, it's just, it's fucking lizard. And eventually your wife goes, look, oh yeah, I mean, sure. Why don't you talk to Dave about it? Yeah. So you would have a big barbecue. Dave's at the barbecue. Yeah. He's like being like, have you ever had the sense that Lionel Blair's a lizard? You know, that, and it's just, it does that seed that kind of grows. And then eventually, yeah. and, and Dave's you're like, the guy. No. Yeah, it's like, like but now that you mention it. Yeah. Or it's, he's just polite. He's like, oh, right, cool. I you know. just thought he had dry skin. <laughs> I thought he was just, he just naturally camouflaged into whatever was behind him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he just loved warm rocks. Uh, yeah. But but yeah, and it just becomes within that community. It becomes you're the guy who thinks Lionel Blair's a lizard. Yeah, and you know Dave humors you, or like you it's something a communal joke that works out about it, but you're taking it seriously, and then just eventually it becomes you get stuck in that feedback loop where it's like the only person you're talking to about this is your poor wife yeah. and yourself and images or caricatures of Lionel Richie, Lionel Blair that you, sorry, not, not Lionel Richie, Lionel Blair, you've scribbled along the walls. L- the, Lionel Richie is a lizard. He's a, he's definitely a lizard, yeah. but Lionel Blair on the fence. We think he's a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so you get stuck in this feedback loop and then, and then suddenly you're now the person who knows the most about Lionel Blair. And so, him being a lizard. And, the, and lizards in general. Yeah. You start Googling, do lizards lay eggs? Yeah. Do they lay trees? I don't know. So more, you know more and more about Lionel Blair. Yeah. And so in that community, you're now respected as if you've got a question about Lionel Blair. Yeah. Steve's the guy. Oh, he's to. the one. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, his, all his albums, yeah, all of his scribblings, mate. like all oh, in between the lines, he was actually asking for a quail's egg. Yeah. Or whatever, <laughs> whatever <laughs> solicit <laughs> And so you've got this self-proposed importance that you've got in your loop that you've been thinking about it for so long. You've figured it out in your own way, but you've only talked about it in your your loop. And then when it comes to being confronted about it, now it's more big than it should be. Yeah. And so now you're like, don't, you you don't know lizards. You know, it becomes that, becomes confrontational and defensive. Yeah. I think that's basically the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people just get stuck in these little loops, these little communities or whatever. And it just, they get this belief, they get they have a thought, the thought manifests, the thought mm. gets recycled over and over and over until yeah. people feel personally attached to the idea. Yeah. And so it when becomes you're trying, part of, It becomes their identity at that point. Yeah. So when you're yeah. arguing with that thought, that, or that idea, the person's interpreting that as you're, you're arguing with me. Like mm. you're, you're saying I'm an idiot. Yeah. And it's like, no, 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 no. What you think is idiotic. <laughs> you're not an idiot but maybe there's been a mistake yeah. there and i'm i love being an idiot i think i may answer the other part of it i'm like i'm i love being stupid please i'd love to know that i'm wrong about something because that i love change i want to see all this kind of stuff yeah but i think other people get really defensive about it and then up the stakes double down and it's like and then it becomes a big confrontation about stuff and it's all just because their poor wife has to put up with them for so long that they'd be like just ask your friends yeah. You know what I mean? It's all these little things. It's just like, it's not, life isn't as, as important or as serious as you may want it to be. Like, mm. if you think Lionel Blair is a lizard, that's great. I'm, I love that. And I'm in full support of that. I think you need those people. Yeah. But you go like, if that person is deadly serious about that and does not want to joke about it, I yeah. go, you'd have, you'd be better off if you found it funny. Yeah. So it's not as serious. Stop taking it seriously. Well, it's it's like, at what point does that kind of thing become become a mental health concern the tap dancing lizards yeah yeah because i think well as in but it's the thing is it's not that's a really extreme case yeah, yeah but there's plenty of people that have got completely unfounded ideas and beliefs about things in the world yeah. that on the surface sound normal but you und- you have to understand that the only reason they believe that is because they're completely fucking deluded yeah, or they just, or they their loop has melded into another loop. Yeah, like, but I because s- the idea sounds, what whatever the yeah. idea is, it's usually, let's say it's a political thing. Yeah. yeah. Because the idea is just involved in uh, a, an involved part of culture that like, oh, we, well, we all have different political ideas and stuff. We just accept that it's perfectly normal for you to have an idea that's different to someone else's. Mm. 
disregard the fact that there is no basis of fact or yeah. truth or anything in it. But it's only when the idea is like weird and wonderful, like Lionel Blair being a lizard, yeah. that we're like, that person's got problems. <laughs> well, it's like a, a classic argument, because and this was a big thing that I had at uni, and I was probably a bit of a pompous prick at the time. But like... So um, was I. That was uni. But yeah, it was like, I did a, a, a philosophy degree, and like um, the people who I was doing the degree with were very like political protest minded. Mm. So they were all against Blair, because I think... Uh, we uh, I don't remember what year we invaded Iraq or we went to Iraq. We visited Iraq. Uh, yeah. But um, I think that was something that was quite being thing like protest. Yeah, I guess it was like 2003. And we were at uni 2006 when we started. Yeah. Right? So, like, so it would have really kind of heated up. At it that was still point. going on. We yeah. Were and to be we out, didn't know so why. Yeah. So like um, I had a thing about like um, I just had a thought and I have stupid thoughts about like, well, how do I know there's a war going on in Iraq? Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Like, how do you verify what truth is? That was the whole argument. Yeah. And um, the thing that I found funny about the, the p- other people on the course was they were saying, well, it's in the newspapers. So you have to accept that the newspapers are the truth. And they go, well, you don't have to accept that, do you? you c- it's just a piece of paper with a picture on it. It could be anything. Yeah. And it's I a can very. Make one of those. <laughs> yeah. And it's a very. <laughs> Look, Lionel Blair is a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you can, like, and, and you know, that's a, that's a very young thought I think people have is how do you verify what truth is or what is truth or what is real or your truth, whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, these people were saying you trust the media, but then they would turn around and say, never trust the media. Yeah. Like the media are liars. They're trying to sell papers. They're trying to do this. So I would try and follow along and they'd be like, okay, let's accept that. And then they'd bring up newspaper articles that made them furious. They'd be like, yeah, but you don't trust that, do you? Yeah. Oh yeah, but look at what they're doing. Yeah, but it's all lies, isn't it? Mm. And they would, and, that, and this is where this the, the, they're in a loop, and it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but the loop is feeding itself. They're in a feedback loop, so it's like, I hate the newspapers, but the newspaper, and I hate the newspapers because they don't exist. But look, the newspapers are making me angry again, but the, the, they don't exist and not real. But the newspapers, yeah, and I think that gets with loads of people is they don't believe what they're talking about, which is fine, but then don't argue for that. If yeah, you don't believe in it. With concern, as as far as th- as far as like the media stuff goes, from what I can gather with people that have problems with with the media, like myself included, I think they're all full of shit. Um, but they only care when they're saying something they disagree with. Like if the media is saying something they disagree with, oh, we love the media, <laughs> we love this publication. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then it's like you have to apply the same. If they're bullshitting about that, they're probably bullshitting about this too. Yeah, and again, I think it's. I think the important disconnect is don't take it incredibly seriously. Yeah, what's a newspaper that you hate? Anyone? Uh, the Guardian. So say the Guardian posts something, uh, you know, Sam Batch's blah 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 yeah. bad article. You say, oh, this is all bullshit. Don't yeah. believe this guy. This made this up. And then they said there's also a sale on Iceland. Are you going to say? No, there isn't. That's lies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust the Iceland sale. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's a pinch of salt. You, yeah. you, like in general, well, it's just the you know you have to uh, scope it take out. it with a pinch of salt. Figure it out for yourself. Yeah. There's, they say there are, there's a, a discount to Iceland. Maybe there is. If I go there and there isn't, I'm not going to burn the place down. No. But oh, I thought there was. Oh, stupid newspapers. Whatever. But people just get, they get stuck in that feedback loop, and it's because they focus. They focus on all newspapers are liars, and then you go, you can't take it that seriously. There's going to be some element of truth in it somewhere. Mm. Maybe it's written badly. Maybe it's written biased. Maybe it's whatever. And you just go like, that's what you really mean. Because if you're saying everything in it is a lie, you're saying that the sale at next is a lie. Mm. And I don't know what you want to do about that. So yeah. it's like just. Just relax, chill out, take it all with a pinch of salt. Then yeah, just gets uh, get stuck in uh, get stuck in loops, and that's what causes all this confusion. I always found that kind of thing strange that you encounter people who don't understand that in a philosophy class where you're meant to be questioning everything. Yeah, but it, it's all. But again, people, again, people have been saying fuck the. Um, I, what's the op- is it? Who's David Cameron? Conservatives, right. fuck the conservatives. Right, they've probably yeah. heard that said. All their life, maybe. Yeah. So now they're like, fuck the conservatives. Yeah. Or fuck the police. I was example. told that by lecturers at university. I was like, well, that's not. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, it was, it's and just... at the time, I'm like, I was like, yeah. And then <laughs> I got out of uni and was like, hey, the world's 
the world's very different to what I was told. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, it's people in that loop. That loop was fuck the police, fuck yeah. the conservatives, and everything is painted I'm not that saying that don't fuck the conservatives. I'm just yeah. saying don't only fuck the conservatives. And there's a sale on Iceland. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Free freezer packs for a fiver. <laughs> yeah. um, but, uh, but one thing I've got to do, uh, because I would try and understand that media argument of never trust the, the newspapers, and then they show me a newspaper article. Mm. I, I just have to, I have to now have to, and it, it feels so pretentious, but I think is what I have to do is just be like, I don't understand you mm. and this whole thing. I don't get it. I've tried to, and I've failed. Um, do you know what it is you're talking about? Then, okay. Or talk to me when you figured it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it, it just, it feels like a, it feels like a, a dicky thing to do. But I think in those situations, it's better for the people to figure out what it is they want to do. Mm. Rather, And there is an aspect of you should help people, but there's a feeling of like, I just don't, un I mean like uh, identity politics. I was speaking to a friend about this recently. It's like, look, I just don't get it. Mm. Like, I believe that identity, your your gender, your sex, your beliefs shouldn't matter at all. Yeah, it should be based on a person by person basis. Believe in the individual on your actions yeah. and what you talk about. I don't care how big your nose is, yeah. what color your arm is, yeah. whether or not your line, your <laughs> whether or not you are a Lionel Blair, yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? And so, and that's another argument where it feels like people campaigning for identity politics are trying to segregate different characteristics yeah. of people. Yeah. And I don't believe they believe in segregation. So I go, I don't think they fully understand what it is they want. So let them figure it out first. Yeah. Then we can deal with it. In the meantime, I'm going to carry on doing my, I believe a better judgment as opposed to just not segregating people. Mm. And you go like, it, people need the space to figure stuff out. But people arguing against these um, things, you go like, they're figuring stuff out and maybe they're being idiots about it and maybe it's being detrimental, but they're figuring it out. So yeah. just talk to us when you figure it out. Don't try and campaign for stuff now when you don't know what it is you're talking about. <laughs> and if they do think they know what they're talking about, let's talk. Yeah. I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> like uh, maybe I'm just ignorant about it, but I just go, you go like, I've tried to have a debate about this and I can't, I, I just don't understand your argument. Yeah. So either we need to both step away, figure out how to better communicate, and then get back together. That's the thing. It's like I'm not in a. I I try not to be in a habit of talking to people who, who don't seem to be listening. Yeah. Because what's the point? Yeah, but I think as well, just people don't know what they they don't know what their own belief is. Yeah. And there's a, there's a again I keep trying to bring them back to these loops, and there are reasons, but I can't quite bring this in my head again. But there's a there's a thing people have where they'll argue. They'll put together an idea, they'll put forward an idea and the idea will make sense. Then they'll put forward together another idea that also makes sense, but it's actually in direct um, opposition to the first idea. Yeah. But they'll say it as if it's the same thing. And he's go like, but that doesn't quite fit. So either you don't mean what you're saying or it's, it could be better communicated to figure out how to talk about it. But yeah, there's a. I need to start. I want. But it, does it not feel dickish? Like you tell me about this new film. You're like, oh, this new film's really good. It's got this and this and this. And I'd be like, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Talk to me when you figure it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it's a bit of a dick move. Yeah. But it's like uh, it's more of an adult thing. You know, you see kids. Like, well, you, yeah. You'd be like, look, I like films. What film is it like? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But then tell me, <laughs> rather than me try and figure out for you what type yeah. of film it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Whimsy. Never understood whimsy. No? I don't get it. It's like I don't understand the door. I think you're too intense for whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Can't eat cooked broccoli. What? Too whimsical. Raw broccoli. I, li I like raw broccoli, actually. Raw broccoli and pickled way. broccoli is really nice as well. Never pickled anything in my life. No? Nope. It's worth it. And cauliflower. I've, I've had vinegar. Pickled cauliflower is great. Had vinegar. Yeah. Followed by food. <laughs> but I've never pickled it in a jar or anything like that. Do you have dry chips or do you have salt and vinegar? <laughs> dry chips. Yeah. Just a bit more cardboard on that chips, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, salt and vinegar on chips. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. It's like, I don't it's understand like semi pickled. I don't get it. I don't. I don't. On all chips? I'm, I have it. Uh, variety is the spice of life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> Sometimes I put brown sauce on chips just to fuck it up. I, don't know. I I've took never had brown sauce. Good. 
I, I have brown sauce on a cooked breakfast, but really not on the beans. <sighs> on the on the meat. And, like the meat how, and, the, and the eggs. No matter how philosophical we try and get, <laughs> we always tend to find it back to the real, the real talk. <laughs> the real talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never daddy sauce. Have you ever daddy sauce? That's brown sauce. I think they do other stuff as well, but they're, they're famous for brown sauce. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy sauce is brown sauce. I've um, only known of HP to be brown sauce. Like HP brown sauce. Yeah, yeah. Sauce. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, to be fair, I, I speak, speaking of tribalism, I was um, <laughs> I was staunch against anything but brown sauce on a bacon sandwich, um, and um, then I, I I made a post about it at some point, and then um, someone one of my mates commented underneath. He was just like, "Just have brown and red, it'll change your life." I was like, "Ah, bullshit!" I had full on like, oh, "Fuck that loop." Yeah, brown yeah, sauce yeah, on yeah. Bacon. And then brown I tried it. I was actually like, "This is great." <laughs> this, is, this is really good. <laughs> you were like, were you resentful or were you glad? I never told him. I'm ashamed. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> no, just whatever you put ketchup on a on a bacon sandwich is. Yeah. Maybe I should. I, the thing is, I no think I should start. I should, I, should, I should have more of a regular kind of repentance. So if I've got something like that, I don't keep it bottled up. I'll just send him a text and be like, look, I tried the red sauce thing. Please do it it's, after this episode, whoever yeah. it was. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just let him know. Yeah. Just look. <laughs> 10 years ago, <laughs> I took your advice. It changed my life. Yeah. And I was just deeply, deeply regretful about everything. So because, I didn't tell anybody. Because you, you, you attacked one of my core beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> and, maybe, maybe, and I was so invested in that. Maybe that's all it is. Because the, the loop thing, I think, makes sense. But I think the core of it is people just take stuff way too seriously. Yeah, and in that case, you were in a loop, yes, but the, you took that very seriously. HP sauce on a, on a bacon sandwich. Yeah, you, do you disagree? It's, it's you and eggs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, it's, it's, it's that thing of like taking it seriously. Yeah, and I think um, I th something that really helped me was um, something that um, that Joe Rogan said for fucking years. In that, which is that you are not your ideas. Your ideas are just your ideas. But as soon as you start linking them to your your whole personality like this is who i am mm. then you eliminate your ability to learn and yeah. to and to, and to challenge your ideas and to to kind of grow as a person because you're just stuck as this version of yourself that um, that first formed these ideas mm. and you never grow joe rogan's a weird one as well yeah i'm a big fan of joe rogan mm. but um it, it, it's another one of those loops that people get stuck in where it's like i don't think they've even watched I mean the the no. Dave Chappelle controversy. Oh yeah, I watched that the other day. I was just like, people are bothered by this. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm sure he said much worse stuff in the. But past. it's just, the, I mean, worse in quotes. I didn't care. Yeah, well, it's like people are really upset that he's he's responded. He's he's, he's been accused of being very transphobic, oh. and uh, See, he's who uh, the fuck isn't these. His days? response to it has been like, well, look, I would like to. I will talk this, you know, to whoever the LGBT community. Let's talk about this. The story but I've was got... about his trans friend. Yeah. Well, then, then there's other examples, and he's got like it's just jokes. You, stop taking this so seriously. Yeah. And and but the the classic response to stop taking this so seriously is there's people that need to take this seriously. Um. Uh. We might not have time for it. I'll have a little quick look because I did have an article that I think that is somewhat linked. Mm. Um. To this. <laughs> No, I don't. Uh, but there was a thing about um, people, you know, uh, people taking something very seriously. You can't joke about this and you can't do that. There is always an argument where there are very, very serious situations, right? Pick any. Murder. Murder is very serious. Mm. You can't, you shouldn't take, if you're, if you're leading a murder investigation, you shouldn't do so with whimsy, <laughs> right? You go like, okay, yeah. maybe that's a thing, but the people dealing with the murder may be whimsical. They yeah. may be silly. You know, doctors are a big case of that, right? Where it's like doctors have a really dark sense of humour because they live in a very dark world. Yeah. And it's like they deal with incredibly dark stuff. Same as um, uh, military people. Yeah, there's loads of uh, in, uh, jobs and uh, livelihoods and, and life experiences that are incredibly dark that people go through. And I don't understand anybody who's saying, stop trying to make light of this and live in your dark, terrible, terrifying life. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like uh, people complaining that doctors make fun. There was a thing about like, you know, um, a thing at Halloween, which I think I've actually got an article about, where they had a, a bingo card on reception. Yeah. And the bingo card was like, 
person who looks like he's in fancy dress, but actually he's homeless. Yeah. Tick. They yeah. come in today. Someone's been spiked. Tick, because there's a big rise in spikes. And all those diseases, horrific accidents on this bingo card. And whoever gets bingo wins. <laughs> and you go, and someone's like, how dare you? That is belittling all of this stuff. And you go like, look, I get that it is. Yeah. But it's also ha- a good way to cope with that. What you're really saying is that person should be breaking down crying. Yeah. And why aren't you crying your fucking eyes out 24 yeah. hours a day because I want to see a nurse? Yeah. And you go, that doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> just it's, doesn't it's, work. Also, it's just, I, I, people, they paint it as though um, you need to change because you're doing something wrong. When what the problem actually is, is they can't cope with the world unless the world bends to their will, which makes you a weak person. Or they're seeing somebody in a different loop. Their yeah. loop is, I've got pancreatitis and I'm terrified. Yeah. And they're seeing somebody else who's laughing that this is the 10th pancreatitis we've had in today. Don't laugh at me. I need, I'm, 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 in, I'm stuck in this loop. Yeah. And it's, the, it's, I think the important thing, it's very important to be out of the loop, to be, break your loop and realise that there's other loops going on and realise that all of this is silly anyway. So yeah. just be like, are you being looked after? If these people are, I don't know, throwing Lionel Blair at you, then maybe that's bad. You know, yeah. Lizards belong outdoors. Don't be thrown around hospitals. And then just try and, uh, yeah, and then try and figure out. But seeing other people enjoy something that you don't enjoy yeah, shouldn't be a terrifying thing. And if that person especially is dealing with dark and, I mean, I can't even comprehend, I don't think anybody can comprehend the horrificness that doctors, nurses, nurses have to deal with. Mm. Like some people don't believe x-rays for chests exist. <laughs> or whatever you know it's, the cc i mean no one's really seen i've been i've got a belarusian friend who sells me sends me loads of pictures of the most horrific things in the world <laughs> so like there's a guy who hung himself with a rope but the rope was too long so the rope ripped his head off oh he jumped oh, out of a balcony ju- oh no and the reason that hangman's nooses are so short yeah. is because you don't gain enough momentum to, <laughs> decap- to, to decapitate yourself oh. so this guy just jumped out of a, like a hotel balcony <laughs> decapitate himself in front of everybody oh. um and then like um and and more horrific stuff about like a guy in a car crash whose head went in but like in the barrier between the windscreen and the door and you go like and i've seen those pictures and i go mm. that's never properly represented in television <laughs> that's yeah. genuinely horrific yeah and i can understand that people dealing with that have got to do like cpr on this guy whose head is like this yeah like yeah what do you want those people to do Give them a bit of leeway to have to have, to try and figure out how to deal with the situation. Yeah. And if they're dealing with it with humour, that seems like a healthy way. If yeah. they were masturbating to it, I'd say maybe that's a bit inappropriate. I'd yeah. say, how many people have you saved? Maybe, maybe it works. Maybe it's a new medical marvel. I don't know. Masturbating yeah. on. It's not cleft in twain. That's what. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not decapitated. Cleft in twain. Um, yeah, just uh, and and the same goes for everything else. And it's just a spectrum of stuff. So yeah, but especially like this Doctor Bingo thing. Just go like, just let them. De- they're dealing with horrific things. They're dealing with you. You're horrific. <laughs> let them figure out how to laugh about stuff. I guess. Uh, yeah, but I think I think I've gone through that as well before. About so I can understand how humor can be used as a weapon. If somebody's making a joke about something, I can see how they could use that joke to belittle somebody for personal benefit. Yeah. And that's always bad. But if you're just joking about the silliness of the li- of life, like your daughter getting killed by a fireplace, <laughs> I think that's fine. I yeah. think it's hard to argue against. Yeah. But yeah, it's just... Uh, get uh, Everyone's in a loop. Chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's in a loop. You're in a loop of... Like, I'm going to do mean, my whiteboard. No, I'm uh, not going to do my whiteboard. <laughs> but I might do my whiteboard, but I'm not. Yeah. Is that, to, is that a name you're going with? What's that? The first two words? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. What happened to the other one? What other one? Crying Eye or something like that. Oh! <laughs> Christ, that was ages ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought you were carrying on. Nah. To be fair, my first email address was ever dead. I'm ever dead. <laughs> <laughs> then I stopped playing Xbox for a bit. I was like, I'm not ever dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never had a, like a, a handle. I've got one now. Yeah? Yeah, that has kind of evolved naturally over stuff. Um, but yeah, well, I think this is what happens when you when on it online. Like Twitter handles become nicknames as well, I think, probably. Yeah, Same I guess kind so. of way. Yeah. Different things. 
It's hard to unwind without fading to laughter. Uh, Pig fact. I haven't got the sound. No. Oh. I, I mean, I can, uh, I can, I can. I can, can, I, can I'm not going to read it out. Shakira Acapo. got her, her purse next by a pig. Shakira. 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 Yeah. She was in. <laughs> she was in a park in Barcelona, and, and a, pig. A, a wild pig came up and just nicked her handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the video of the pig uh, stealing some guy's stuff and they chased it with a box or something? <laughs> no. Yeah, pig theft is a big thing. <laughs> pig uh, theft. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, there's wild animals and they go around pig. Like, I think there was a thing at beaches or something and like, pigs are coming up and like taking people's stuff. And <laughs> the legging. pigs are coming. <laughs> Out of the ocean. <laughs> like, they're pretty massive. Yeah. Like, you can't really... You can't, you can't and really they're, they're, it. it's like um It's like badgers as well. It's like, don't, don't fuck with them. Like, just... Yeah because they they they've got teeth and they've I mean I've seen I've seen wild pigs fend off lions <laughs> you've seen it not in person at your window just <laughs> <laughs> so that noise yeah. keep it down <laughs> you're going to wave Lionel <laughs> yeah he's just settled on his rock in that weird wave <laughs> yeah yeah i read a thing about um oh you've got an article here about uh, a guy died while working at pets at home oh shit he got caught in the machinery. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, I've never seen any machinery out front. Yeah. So what machinery are these pets at home working on? It's the... Is there a ball working, a buzzsaw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's giraffe operating a photocopier. <laughs> it's... A... <laughs> Some guy st- <laughs> stuck in the middle. Yeah, it's like one of those... I mean, they get... They, there's a certain point where, like, the... Um, the, the animals they get too old for people to to buy them like they look at them they <laughs> retire like, this isn't adorable anymore so they've got like an, an old hamster compactor some of them become tap just dancing throw them all celebrity in, legends get a cube of dead hamsters and they <laughs> yeah. send it for recycling turn into a got... Rubik's <laughs> this, is, this is really strange <laughs> just fucking with a corpse <laughs> oh. I got it all to match red <laughs> 